Today we are going to learn about chapter 2 measurement and system of units of semester 1. Basically in this chapter we are going to study about how we can measure different kind of a quantities. Basically in physics we have a seven fundamental quantities and the rest of consider as a derived quantities. So first of all here we just try to get which kind of units we have. So here in this chapter also we can think about what are the dimensions, dimension formula, also we are going to study about how we can measure long distance, how we can measure very small objects, small size objects, how we can measure a very small tiny particles in terms of a mass, in terms of a time and lots of things we are going to study in this chapter. So now here in this chapter, that first point is that what should be the unit of a physical quantity. So basically we can see, we can say that, that physical quantity that is a required some definite value. You can say that uh, it's very easy to make a replica. Suppose if we can say that, ki agar aisa measurement hai, ya to for example if I want to measure as a 1 kilogram, chini mere ko chahiye. So suppose if you go to a, any grocery shop and if you ask for a 1 kilogram sugar, तो एक जगह पे कुछ और मिलेगा, दूसरी जगह पे कुछ और मिलेगा, तीसरी जगह पे कुछ और measurement होगा, तो क्या ऐसा नहीं होता है? So everywhere one kilogram means thousand gram. It means that should be a definite. One kilogram means thousand gram. That same thing you can apply for a liquid. That you can apply for a time. For example, if I can say that one hour means sixty minute. One minute means sixty second. So each and everything that unit should be definite. You can also say that it's very easy to make a replica. It's like that, for example, aapko kuch chahiye aur aapko 1 kilogram ka wo measurement ke liye ab jo bhi use karte hai, jo uska weight hota hai. Agar maan lo wo weight ho easily available nahi hai, to kya hoga? It's very difficult. To isi liye hum aisa kehte hai ki that is a very easy to make a replica and let me clear, replica is not considered as a duplicate. Duplicate nahi hona chahiye. उसका replica होना चाहिए. Replica means as it is उसी के जैसा. Duplicate में तो भाई कुछ भी चलता है, पर ऐसा नहीं लेना है. So here we have a simple answer of this question that the standard measure of a any quantity is called a unit of that physical quantity. Standard measure. It means 1 kilogram means everywhere it's a thousand gram. 1 minute means everywhere 60 second. For example, if you can say that the 1 year it's 365 days, 1 day means 24 hours. So if you are in India or anywhere else, 1 day means 24 hours. So that standard of a measure of any quantity is called a unit of a physical quantity. That's it. And now we can say that what should be that unit of a physical quantity, here we have three points. That first one, that unit should be a definite and un unambiguous. Means, who properly define kar sa kaisa hona chahiye. Usme koi variation nahi hona chahiye. Agar ek maan lo ek aadme kehte ki 1000 matlab, uh, 1 kilogram matlab 1000 gram, koi kehta hai 999 gram, to aisa nahi chalta hai. That should be clear cut, definite value. That unit should be such that its measure should not change. And if a unit is defined with the help of some phenomena, that phenomena must be permanent. Means, somewhere if we define 1 liter, means that some specific milliliter value, or a 1 kilogram means a specific gram value, or a 1 milligram means also some specific gram value. So, jo kuch bhi hai, wo perfect hona chahiye. Wo as it is hona chahiye. Usme koi value change nahi honi chahiye. And suppose if we have a definition, so definition properly होना चाहिए अगर उसका कोई phenomena है तो वो भी clear cut होना चाहिए. Because in this chapter we are going to study about a one quantity that is called as a light year. A light year means what? A light year means a distance travelled by a light in a one year. That is called as a light year. Suppose ये definition है. अगर मान लो ऐसा कोई phenomena होता है and as you know it very well. Light speed is very very high. And suppose if I consider कि अगर light है वो एक साल तक आगे बढ़ता है जाए, बढ़ता है जाए, बढ़ता है जाए, तो कितना distance cover करेगा? 
जो भी डिस्टेंस कवर करता है दैट डिस्टेंस इज नोन एज ए लाइट ईयर दैट विल बी अवर नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन सम अदर पॉइंट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दैट डिस्टेंस तो उसमें वो पॉइंट हम डिस्कस करेंगे एंड द थर्ड पॉइंट एज आई मैंशन इट्स अ प्रोटोटाइप और ए रिप्लीका एंड यूनिट शुड बी इजिली रिप्रोड्यूसेबल एंड इजिली अवेलेबल एज आई मैंशन इट कि मान लो कि भाई सब्जी तरकारे वाला है दस लोग हैं तो हर एक को वो वेट चाहिए तो इजिली अवेलेबल होना चाहिए ऐसा ही नहीं कि कोई स्पेसिफिक जगह पे ही मिलेगा तो यूनिट हो वो इजिली रिप्रोड्यूसेबल भी होना चाहिए और इजिली अवेलेबल भी होना चाहिए देन आफ्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दैट्स अ यूनिट ऑफ अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड द सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स लेट मी क्लियर वन थिंग मे बी यू फील दैट यू स्टडीड ऑल दिस थिंग्स प्रीवियस डे समवेयर एंड येस आई नो दैट यू ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस ऑल द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड्स सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स और फिजिकल क्वांटिटी देर सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन यू हैव स्टडीड इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड इन सम अदर चैप्टर सो यूनिट ऑफ अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स बेसिकली इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट बेसिकली थ्री पॉइंट्स दैट फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी इजी एंड दैट इज अबाउट एफ पी एस सिस्टम एफ पी एस वेर एफ मीन्स फूड की मीन्स पाउंड एंड एस मीन्स सेकेंड सो हियर फूड पाउंड एंड सेकेंड सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम बेसिकली डिफाइंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फूड डेफिनेटली दैट इज अ यूनिट ऑफ अ विच फिजिकल क्वांटिटी फूड इज अ यूनिट ऑफ लेंथ पी इज अ पाउंड पाउंड दैट इज अ यूनिट ऑफ मास एंड एस सेकेंड इट्स अ यूनिट ऑफ टाइम so here we are going to define that system that based on the length mass and time basis so in the old days we were using fps system but nowadays that is not in a use second one it's a little bit upgraded version you can say that it is a c g s system and again now you can say that what is a c g s in the length mass and in time terms so now here you can say that cgs means centimeter g means gram and s means second as i mentioned fps it's a foot pound second cgs centimeter gram and second the third system that we are going to widely use and basically is we are using right now that is a mks system mks now it's very easy to say about it the unit of a length which are going to start from m so definitely you can say that it's a meter yes you are right the quantity of uh, the quantity that's a mass and the unit of mass which start from a k obviously it is a kilogram and this mean as it is system fourth point is m k s a that is a meter kilogram second and now fourth one that is a ampere ampere that is a unit of a fourth physical quantity that is under of a basic physical quantity that is a current electric current that's unit is ampere fifth you can say it's a SI system. SI system means you can say that standard system, international standard system, international. That is a SI unit. Now here, this SI system means what? Under SI system, we have a seven fundamental physical quantities. After that seven, you know that four. That's first is length, mass, time, and the fourth one is the current. Respect to their units, that will be mks. That's meter, kilogram, second, and ampere. And here, 
we can say that yeah so now here we can say that that as a unit that having a some seven values that base quantity that's a name as well as symbols are given here you can observe it very carefully now here that length that's a name is meter that's a symbol is meter m mass kilogram that's a kg times a second it's a s electric current ampere it's a a now three new one that fifth one is a thermodynamic temperature in short normal temperature that is a si as per si unit that thermodynamic temperature having a kelvin unit and kelvin is known as a k other unit is no you know it very well that's a degree celsius the degree celsius that we can say here celsius like this that's called as a degree celsius next one that's called as amount of a substance that's a mole you can show it so it's m o l that's a mole that's a symbol and the last one is called the luminous intensity that unit is the candela and the symbol is the c luminous intensity means what so that seventh quantity uh, is considered as the intensity luminous luminous means suppose if you think about some sources of a light for example if i say zero ka bulb le lo 100 watt ka bulb le lo tube light le lo if you think about as a uh, jo sa shaadi vyah mein use hota hai wo halogen light le lo so every source have a different intensities to wo intensity kaun si unit mein measure ki jati hai to wo hota hai candle और उस स्पेसिफिक यूनिट का नाम होता है ल्यूमिनस इंटेंसिटी दैट इज ए सीडी नाउ आफ्टर दिस एसआई यूनिट सिस्टम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दैट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एज आई मेंशन दैट साइमन इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ फंडामेंटल यूनिट्स नाउ दैट नेक्स्ट वन इज वी कैन कंसीडर एज अ डिराइव्ड यूनिट्स सो डिराइव्ड यूनिट एज पर द नेम यू कैन से इट्स अ डिराइव्ड suppose if we can derive the new unit from the fundamental quantities it's called as a derived unit so now here we can say that so now next point is about derived units so derived unit means if we have some fundamental quantity and from that fundamental quantity if we can derive different types of quantity so with the help of a fundamental quantity when we will get some new quantity that new quantity is known as a derived quantities or a derived units it's obvious agar fundamental quantity hai usse jo quantity naya milta hai it is known as a derived quantity and derived quantity ka jo unit hota hai usko hum kehte hain derived units so now here so in a derived units we can say that suppose we have seven fundamental quantities out of seven suppose if i think about two first quantities that's the length and the mass so from the length and the mass here we have a first quantity that the name is velocity the symbol is v so velocity is equals to displacement upon time so you can see that the displacement it consists of length time it's a time so displacement unit is meter and time unit is second so velocity is known as a derived quantity and a meter per second that is known as a derived units as simple as that now whatever the quantity we are going to derive with the help of a velocity so definitely that all the consider as a derived quantity so here you can say that x at seven quantity all the values all the quantities are as a derived quantities and their units respective units as a derived units i you can say it's a velocity you can say it's acceleration i think i also studied about the values acceleration as well as velocity in the ninth standard second upon second so finally it's a meter per second square now we can say it's a mass into velocity tino ko le liya what is that mass into velocity yes that's a momentum 
So mass into velocity. Now here we have three fundamental quantities. Kilogram. Fundamental quantities as mass, length and time, the respective units are kg, meter and second. So it's a kg meter per second. <coughs> and fourth one you can see that mass into acceleration. That is also simple. Force, and I think you also studied about the force, that is the mass into acceleration. That is equivalent to kg meter per second square. I think you also know it very well. That force we can also show in terms of Newton. That's capital N. That is stand for a Newton. Now here, after that derived quantity, there is another part. Of, means after that derived quantity, now here we can think about that other type of a quantity that is not fundamental, not a derived. That is a type of a supplementary quantities. So, in the next section, we are going to study about supplementary quantities. Okay?